expand two thirds plus one third to the power of four. So it's a nice uh, simple -ish binomial expansion. Uh, and then we've got a question. Four chocolates are selected at random with replacement from a box which contains strawberry creams and almonds, sorry, almond centers in the ratio of two to one. Uh, find the probability of getting one, all strawberry creams, two, two of each type, and three, at least two strawberry creams. So part A is a simple bit. Uh, we're going to expand, so two thirds plus one third to the power of four. So if it's quite a low power, which it is, uh, we can just use the uh, the uh, Pascal's triangle for this. So you're going to have uh, one, 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 two, one, one, three, three, one, one, four, six, four, one. And I know I'm on the right row because the second number in is always N. So that's the four, second number from either side. So this is going to be, well, it's one times two thirds to a power and one third to a power. So we're going to start with the two thirds to the power four and one third to the power zero. Remember the powers, they, they always add up to N and you start with one of them going up or one of them at the top, one of them at zero. This one goes down and the other one will go up from term to term. You could start the other way around, but it's it's um, standard practice, or, or certainly a lot more common, to start with the first term, the a, as uh, with the top power, power of n. So plus the next coefficient is four, four, and it's two thirds, and one third. So that must be um, two thirds to the power three, one third to the power one, plus six, two thirds one-third, so that must be two-thirds to the power two, and one-third to the power two, plus uh, four, two-thirds, one-third, one-third, uh, one and three, and the last term, plus uh, one again, uh, two-thirds and one-third, and this must be Four and zero. Now, uh, you will see in a lot of expansions, certainly for the first two terms, don't forget it's always one and n. And because this is kind of power zero here and power zero here, you'll often see people will just write two thirds to the power four here and just one third to the power four at the end it, in, for this example. I, I'm not doing it like that just because I really want to drub it in. You've got three, three things being multiplied together. A coefficient as in the number of ways it can happen, um, the power of the first term and the power of the second term. Uh, you do need to be aware of uh, certain in binomial expansions questions, you do need to be aware that this is 1 and this is n, and certain simplifications you won't be able to get by without them. But in this, I think it's quite handy. Now, I will, because I've actually been specifically asked to expand it, I probably should um, simplify the thing. So that would be 2 thirds to the power 4 plus four, two thirds cubed, one third, plus six, two thirds squared, one third, squared, plus four, two thirds times one third cubed, plus uh, one third to the power of four. Now I guess you could go a bit further as in you could work these things out. Um, I'm not going to right now um, because really this is the probability question. So part B. Now four chocolates are selected at random with replacement from a box which contains uh, strawberry creams and almond sensors in the ratio two to one. Find the probability of getting all strawberry creams, two of each type and so on. Now if you think about Firstly, the, the fact that it says with replacement means that this happen, This is something where the probability of getting almond or, or strawberry on any given occasion is fixed. Fixed probability. When it says four chocolates are selected and put back and it says it's random, that's the number of trials. This, this is what's telling us. It's a binomial situation. You have a number of trials, n, in this case four, 
and you have a fixed probability of su success. So say we take the random variable x as um, the number of strawberry creams, you know that x has a fixed probability. The probability of taking strawberry cream is two-thirds because they're in a two-to-one ratio. So two-thirds of, of these uh, chocolates are strawberry creams. One-third um, are the other ones that I can't say. Almond centers. Right, so the probability of getting all strawberry creams. Now what I want to do, and why this is so useful to have this this really longhand um, expansion is because this, this binomial is a really short way of drawing the, what would be the whole tree diagram. Now if I wanted to, to do this as a tree diagram it would be quite large because you'd have two branches to start so strawberry and almond then you'd have the strawberry almond again on the second chocolate and then you'd have strawberry almond again and it'd be quite large. So what you would end up seeing if you were to do that and I don't recommend it is that there is only one way of getting four strawberry creams one way of it one way it can happen and that's if all four so it would be for the tree it would be like this and there's also only one way of getting all almond sensors which would be if the tree kind of went like that all the way which would be this time only one way it can happen in the middle, well, then it's when you have different ways something can happen. This, but there would be four ways that you could get um, three strawberry creams and one almond center, and so on. So let me write this down. This is four strawberry cream. In fact, just save me writing strawberry cream all the time. Let's say let x be the random variable. random variable, the number of strawberry creams of strawberry creams. Okay, so this here is x equals 4. This is all four strawberry creams. Only one way it can happen. This whole term here, four ways you can get three strawberry creams, which would mean, obviously, if you get three strawberry creams, you're going to get one of the almond. So this is x equals three. Here we get two strawberry creams and two almonds, and there's six ways that can happen. If you did a tree diagram, you would find six different combinations that made that true, and all of them would involve uh, two-thirds times two-thirds times one-third times one-third. So this is getting a two strawberry creams at x equals two. Here we have x equals one, one strawberry and three almonds, and finally this is all almonds, so no strawberries, x equals zero. So that's only one way that can happen, as discussed. Right, so we now can answer the question. So part B should be really, part B1 should be really easy. So we're finding the probability x equals four, but it's literally, it's one times two thirds to the power four, times one third to the power of zero. So it's just uh, two thirds to the power of four, which is two to the four over three to the four. Two to the four is 16. Three to the power of four is, uh, well, three squared is nine, three cubed 27, three to the power of four must be 81. 16 over 81, part of two. Uh, probability two of each type so two of each type, or p x equals two, is um, this term here. So x equals two, just there. So we need to work that that out. So it equals six times two thirds squared times one third squared. Well, that must be six times. Well, it's two squared over three squared. That's four over nine times uh, 1 over 9. So you could say, well, 6 over, you could put a 6 with one of these 9s, so we can say that could be 2 over 3. Um, and then you've got 2 times 4 is 8 over 3 times 9, 27. And hopefully we have room for part 3. At least two strawberry creams. That is a quite annoying. We probably won't 
at least 2 means you're finding the probability x is greater than or equal to 2. So really, it's the probability that x equals 2 or 3 or 4. So it's all of these added together. So 4 parts 3, you're looking for the probability that x is at least 2. So x is greater than or equal to 2, so at least 2 strawberry creams. Though, as I've just said, you're, you could find probability x equals 2 or 3 or 4. We all mean add. Remember, these are mutually exclusive events, so we can add. Or it might be slightly quicker to consider the converse, as in probability x is 1 or less, so less than or equal to 1, and just take away from 1, because all of these are all possible outcomes from these four trials. You can only get um, 4 or 3 or 2 or 1 or 0 strawberry creams. There's nothing else that can happen, so this is, these must add up to 1, otherwise you've made a mistake. So I'm going to say probability x is greater than or equal to 2 equals, so put it there, equals 1 minus, that's the probability of the, the converse, which would be x is less than or equal to 1, or x is less than 2, same thing in this case. So equals 1 minus, well the probability x is less than or equal to 1 is going to be the probability x equals 1 plus the probability x equals 0. So 1 minus, so 4, 2 thirds, uh, 1 third cubed, <coughs> plus uh, one third to the power four. We're taking that away from one. So that's going to be a bit tricky, but hopefully we'll get it in. So one minus one, one third cubed is one over 27. Uh, so you've got on the bottom, you've got 27. So three, you've got three cubed times another 3. That's quite handy with this 3 to the 4. So that is effectively, or well, 3 to the power of 4 is 81. So this is going to be 2. 1 times 2 is 2, times the 4 is 4 over 81. Plus, and this is 1, 1 third to the power of 4 is 1 over 81. So you have got 1 minus 5 over 81. So that's like 81 over 81, that's the 1, minus 5 over 81, which leaves us 76 over 81.